Well, all these other managers, they're at Konka there while the person is DJ. Hubbly. Yeah, smoking Hubbly. Into Wazi. Into Wazi. Flavor, no hippie flavor. That's your manager. <laughs> That's your manager. Hell, no hippie flavor. And he's dating a South African girl, eh? From is Cape Town. Yeah. Are you for wow. real? Yeah. What's that girl? No. <laughs> You'd be out of money. <laughs> yeah. 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 The silly challenge is the one. Yeah. That one can stay, that one. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Your friend is loose. Your friend is loose. Would you rather sleep with your ex or someone in this room? You know, so old age is creeping up on me, man. For real, what's going on, man? I'm thinking of doing that bum inspection thing. What, what do they call it? A colo uh, colonial. What is it? <laughs> hey, that one. Yes. A colonoscopy. Colos yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why? 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 What's prompting prompting that? I don't know. Apparently, you got to do it, especially when you get older. Oh, that's not old age then. I thought something's wrong with your body or something. Or you no, no, no. Ah, I'm fresh. Ah, I'm fresh. I'm fresh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all need to do it, apparently. What's the age of doing that thing or advised age of doing it? Have you done it? Have you done no, it? No, I've never done that. I need to do it. Mm. I think I know by 40, you also must also go get um, a prosthetic exam. You, you guys need to... Yeah, also... your prostate. You need yeah. to get your prostate exam. Mm -hmm. I got two kids. I think I'm fine there. No, it's got no, nothing to do with... It's got nothing to do, nothing yeah, to do yeah, with yeah. kids. For really? prostate cancer, right? To check out prostate cancer and yeah. other stuff. Yeah, and other things. Yeah, I think you know? so. Mm. Yeah. What, uh, what are the benefits of doing that thing, uh, Fed Check? Oh, you're not talking about the colon, uh, colon cleanse? Because that's another one. Which one is that one? So when you go for, they put a tube up and obviously put up water and then you... Okay, that's your thing. Basically, oh, yeah. Yeah. You're cleaning your colon, really. Yeah, Because yeah. 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 Mohammed BCC, so it doesn't clean the entire thing. Your intestines still, yes. like the walls of it still have, you know, the stuff you're trying to get rid of. Yeah. So the colon cleansing, pretty much, it's more, it's a more thorough way of cleaning your intestines and yeah. colon. Is that different to the one I'm talking about? A colon. Um, a colon. you're talking about prostate. No, I think. he was talking about the, what's the, the word again? Colonos. Okay, what's a colonoscopy? What does it do? What's the purpose yeah, of it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, it is advisable for you to do it at the age of um forty. Five oh, upwards to seventy-five years, <laughs> and then um the benefits for it is just to check how your intestines are doing, your internal organs, the functions for it, if there's any cancer, and if there will be any um issues that need to be treated within your intestines. Okay, yeah. you know that's the thing though. That's a wise thing. I yeah, must do it. But that's I'll the thing it, about too. going to like doctors, you know, for checkups. Yeah, and then they find something wrong. And then you admit it. <laughs> hey, but I, and, 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 and I think that's why a lot of people walk around with things. Even some people, but I'm straight to wire wire and don't want to check hey, HIV hey. status, right? Mm. Because they know that there's a likelihood it's there. And they of the belief that once they know, then they'll start feeling sick. Exactly. Like it's a placebo effect kind of thing. Yeah. So that's why people don't do it. But if you don't do it, you'll die from that thing anyway. So rather just find out, man. I rather not know. Ignorance is bliss. Ah, no such, bro. Yeah. Why are you thinking about these things, man? Man, I'm getting old, dog. Yeah, but you have to. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> I think last week I went to the doctor and I did like a number of blood blood tests. I had to go get my um just to just to check because I was like, okay, then let's check for I had an issue with um allergies and stuff. So he was like, okay, we're gonna do it. I also check the my liver, my um. I think everything. There was just mm. a lot of things. And even my thyroid and stuff. So he, they came back, called me like two days ago and said, no, everything was fine. Oh, I was so happy. So you but I was a bit stressed. I remember like Monday, Tuesday, I was like, hey, can't do what's going on. So when last did you do a test? What test do you do? Like in a year? In a year? Yeah. I don't do tests. You don't do anything? No. I'm, you should. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm all right. I'm, hey. I'm strong. I'm but good. You know what, so you My said... My erections are not affected. <laughs> I'm good. Like... You remember you said you are prone to getting flu? 
Yeah. Since you were a kid. Yeah. So another thing, what made me go to the doctors because I had a problem with my chest, and he told me that I had had bronchitis for like two two months. Damn. That was just chilling in my lungs, you know. So you see, that's a good thing. Like I was so like, oh, thank God, now I know, you know. I was advertising something. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is, it? is it so I'm good? Man. You feel like <laughs> a, man would normally find this boring and yawn and start fidgeting and doing his own things, you know. So. I'm I'm pretty surprised. What's going on? It's all day. You got a file. No. <laughs> you gotta check for these things. You never know. Oh, like okay, you said, yeah, you're right. Though but it's I'm... a responsible thing to do. I'll go check. I'll say, doc, check everything. Mm. But remember how I'm glad you're talking like this because before you used to just say, ah, you know, now I'm gonna be out by forty. Yeah. So like, I don't think I... I'll make forty, but it looks like I'm gonna make forty. Yeah, exactly. Four no, more years. Yeah. You, you, you have to. There's make. a lot to live for now. I think <laughs> when he said that, yeah, there was nothing. Life was bad, man. You know. <laughs> He was now. I was like, "No, Lord, please! All this money I'm gonna leave behind. Oh no!" And the kid is still a baby. You know exactly. what I mean? So yeah, you know? when you got a lot to live for, fucking hell, you wanna live beyond forty. Now it's time for an advert. Are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hit, hit uh, elevate your betting game with EasyBet.co.za, the site with the biggest bonuses in South Africa. Dive into the world of sports, slots, and casino games. Uh, this is where they come alive. Uh, you'll get a huge head start at Easy Bet with their 50 Rand sign up bonus. No deposit required. And here's the real game changer your first deposit gets a massive 150% match up to 1,000 Rands. What about if your team lets you down? Well, Easy Bet throws you a lifeline with up to 15,000, uh, 15% cash back on your losing bets. That's 15% cash back on your losing bets. Ready, set, bet. Rush to Easy Bet and use the promo code MACG50 for your 50 Rand welcome bonus. That's MACG50 for your 50 Rand welcome bonus. And now, Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. So Panookas, yeah. yeah. Black Studios, yeah. Tibblers, yeah. Who's this guy, man? You guys keep bringing you guys. Who's this guy yeah, now? So it's not the same guy from last week. What's Who, going who's on? Who's this man? guy? We feel unsafe. Your cousin. Oh, fake check. Oh, no, 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 we're we bringing cousins to work. Yeah. He's driving you. <laughs> He's not driving. He just wants to sit in on the podcast. Let's be honest. <laughs> we all know how it is. You know, everyone's cousin and friends like, oh, I know. He's driving me. Man, he just wants to sit in on podcasts and chill. So uh, do you guys share the same? Uh, how are you guys related with this guy? His father and my mother are siblings. Oh. oh, so he's your cousin for real? Cousin. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. we don't share. And the you same promised surname. him one day he's gonna. He's been <laughs> nagging you. I'm sure he's been nagging you for years. Like no, I wanna come. He, to the he got bigger bags than I do. Hey. What no. do you mean bigger bags? He's in the music industry. So oh, is yeah. it me? Oh, I see why he wants to push his music. Oh, oh no, no. Just not. Ah. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Not to Spanish. you guys. He got bigger p- names. Like who? What does he do in the music industry? What do you do, bro? With bigger bags. Are you nominated for a summer? <laughs> what do you do, man? What do you do, bro? Do Your like dream that? is coming true. You're on podcast and chill now. Yeah, Pagama. <laughs> like, don't he's acting like it's nothing to him. It <laughs> sounds like yes, 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 yes. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's cool. Look at him acting all cool, too cool for the mic. <laughs> We know just be looking forward to just it. Just speak on the mic, please. It's happening, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. What was the question again? What do you oh. do? What do you do in music? Um, okay, I'm a sessioning um piano player. And I'm a producer as well. Um, yeah, that's basically what I do. Well, what songs have you produced? Yo, okay. Um, it's not clear as yet. Um, what I can say for now is that I'm trying to push this music thing. <laughs> <laughs> Which bigger bags were you talking about? <laughs> Have you worked with anyone famous? Yeah, I've worked with Lewis Hobela. And... Speak on the mic, bro. Oh, okay. I've worked with Lewis Hobela, William Sejake, and other people as well. But those are the two main artists that I can say, yeah. Have you know. done any piano work say, as a sessionist on, uh, on Ama Piano? Um, I once had a studio session with um, George Leslie and Abidoz as well. Abidoz. Nice. I'll hit you up for a thingy, for, 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 as a sessionist, yeah? No problem. Cool. 
You trust him, dog. He doesn't even have one song that we know. I do, because uh, George Leslie and Abidoza are one of the most musical guys in Namapian as far as production. Oh. Those guys are top tier. Like, Calvin Momo, George Leslie's brilliant. Abidoza's work is brilliant, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Musically, fucking, those guys have ears. So that's why I'm like, I'll hit him up definitely. Shit, man. Poor Abidoza's manager got um, fired after we did Amapiano rap last year. Remember? Oh. <laughs> the letter go, man. I remember. Uh. I got Charlie. I got Abidoza. <laughs> <laughs> but as she said, no, I think she said some wild things. I mean, she said... But it's her opinion, she, dog. But, but, bro... It's her opinion. It is her opinion, but... And she's not representing Abby Doza there. She's representing herself. True, but if Dim she burns Bonnet. bridges... Dim but if she burns bridges, for example, as a manager, who gets the brunt of that? Who feels it? The artist. If mm. she burns bridges. Mm. You know what I mean? It's her opinion, I get it. But also, you represent people and artists work on networking and bridges they built. Yeah. Anyway, Ghost Lady's here, Tato's here, okay. Tutu's here, yeah. uh, uh, Neo's here, yeah. Fat Checkers yeah. here, Simpiwe's here. Yeah. Simpiwe! Speaking about music, let's get straight to the shit, Stock. Let's go. Uh, what do you think about the Grammy nominations? Musa Keys! Yeah? Musa Keys! Yeah? Yeah? Musa Keys! Yeah, what, what are we thinking, Ghost Lady? What are we thinking, oh, yeah? Musa Keys, oh. man. Okay, who's the nominations? Who's nominated? Yeah, let's and break the nominees it down. Are yeah. Musa let's, Keys. Let's Musa Keys, them. man. I'm just so happy for Musa Keys. No one deserves it more than Musa Keys, man. Tyler, cool. yes. Tyler yeah. definitely, definitely also deserves yeah. it. I mean, what Water is, is the, one of the biggest songs on the planet. Okay, cool. Here we go. Uh, Tyler's song Water has been nominated for a Grammy under the first ever Best African Music Performance category. Mm -hmm. And apparently the category is inspired by the success of Afrobeat and African music in the United States. So she's not the only one from SA who's nominated, as well as Musa Keys is in there too. Uh, Asake, if I'm not mistaken, is there as well. Yeah. What are the nominees, uh, Fed Checker? Please check for us. But what, what are your thoughts, Penduk? On that alone, I'm just so happy for Musa Keys, man, you know? I'm very happy for Tyler as yeah. well, but I think with Musa Keys, we've seen the growth, we've seen the, 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 the development, you know, him going from just another piano guy to like a superstar piano guy, from the imaging to the styling. I mean, his live performances were playing at the same uh, uh, gig in Limpopo, uh, Royal Gardens. I mean, fuck. I, I wasn't seeing it, but I was hearing it, and it just sounded out of this world. So f for me, Musa Keys is, um, is my highlight. Mm. Fair check. Um, it's Asake and Ahmad and Olamad. Olamide, Olamide, Apologies, Davido and Musa Keys, Ira Star and Tyler. Mm -hmm. Man. Man. Musa Keys is about to be, he's like the first I'm a piano Grammy nominated artist. Hmm. Is he? Who else? No one else has. So never, for it, piano, no. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm a piano Grammy nominated, I'm a piano artist. Who else has been nominated a piano artist for a Grammy? Mm, shit, you might be. And right, if he right. wins it, oh, boy. Ah, the price is going up. Oh, I think it, it's going even more up. Yes. That's, that's, that's crazy. But I'm man. two ways about this nomination thing, man. On the one hand, I'm excited like you are, right? Yeah. Any win for SA in a global stage is a win for the yes, country, right? Yes. So I'm excited that Tyler's there, Musa Keys is there as well. Yes. But it also just seems like now it's a popularity contest, bro. Like the Grammys. They've always been, though. What do you mean? You think so? Or are you saying. They're not about the music, but come on, Water is the biggest song on the planet. But that's why I'm saying it's now become a popularity contest because oh. it's never been about that. But it's a Grammys. beautiful song, even musically, sonically, it's a beautiful song. It sounds amazing. What I'm trying to say, right? When 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 I when I when I when I think of the Grammys, I think about the Oscars, okay. Okay, right? Okay, 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 okay. Let me put it to you this way, and then before you continue with your explanation, who else is deserving of that category who's not there? Mm. I can't think who's of unpopular but makes amazing music in Africa who should be there and has been very loud globally. Mm, I can't think of anyone right now. So the nominations are fair. Are fair then. No, but here's where I was going to. Right? Okay. The, when I look at the Grammys, they remind me of the Oscars. Where like the Oscars, the movies that nobody watches are always the ones that win. You know those art movies that nobody watches, but the ones that we like never get any nominations. They never win anything. If you look at last year, right, uh, everybody was up in arms because Burner Boy didn't win because he had the biggest song. And then some guy won who, the song we've never even heard of before, he won. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's never been about who's got the biggest song at the moment. Wasn't it a South African? Uh, it was Zix, yeah, yeah, it was Zix. It was oh, Zix, yeah, yes. with, with the Kellerman. Yeah, that exactly. Song, yeah, and yeah. I'd never heard of that song. Yeah, yeah. And that's what the Grammys have been like for me. It's like 
are musicians that no one has ever heard of. It's never been like who's got the biggest song on Billboard, who's touring the most, who's filling up the stadiums. So it's not. So that would be popularity, though. That's what I'm thinking. Like now with these nominations, because like if you look at Asaki, he's massive, bro. Mm -hmm. His numbers speak volumes. Uh, Tyler as well. She's got one of the biggest songs in the world. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Is it now more popularity driven? Hmm. But I, before, I think, oh, okay, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, but before. When that happened, when someone else wins who we don't know, we complained, <laughs> right? And we were like, like for instance, Avota like, Kellerman. Exactly. Yeah. Where the Burner Boys track was way bigger. You understand? But they've been consistent in the fact that it's not about the bigger song, mm. it's about music. But okay, are we now criticizing the, the arts, the, their music? Like if you listen to Water, do you feel like it's just. Ah, Water down. <laughs> <laughs> If you listen to Musaki's music, is it a bit like, oh? <sighs> or do they have a running chance? Like you say, like you say, okay, the music does sound, or is reaching that caliber. Man, I don't want to sound like a hater, but Water can't be the best song to come out of Africa. Let's be honest. Musically. But you see, it's not even about that, Mac. It's about who is behind Water, who's giving it the right push. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. mean to put myself in it or make it about me. For example, right? My song, Lonely Night. As you're about to. Right? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, when we dropped it, we pitched it to Spotify, right? Yeah, yeah. It didn't make it. It didn't get on the I'm a Piano Groove playlist. On that Friday, all the songs that dropped on that Friday, my song shits on those songs. Yeah. You know? But those made it. Why? Because who's behind the music and who's pushing the music? Mm. So, for example, Kamsa can drop the hottest song in Africa, which he's been doing for a number of years, but who's pushing the music and what scale are they pushing the music? If whoever, the Academy, whoever is in charge of the Oscars does not even hear of the song, how will it then make it to the, uh, you know, to the nominations? So sometimes Fuck. it's about... No, the music coupled with the muscle behind the ah, music. I like that you bring that up, bro. It brings me back to... Uh, please pick, uh, put it up then, eh? There's a tweet Philip Pella uh, tweeted about the Grammys. Uh, so that, that means then it's not about the music, number one. It is, but it's also about... You know what's up, bro? It's about the music. But say the Grammys are sitting at this table. The music needs to make it to the table. Okay. Oh. You get me? Then when it does, it's about the music and... Half the job is done. The fact that it made it to the table. Okay, so how does the music make it to the table? Via popularity, via topping the charts, via all these things. Via making the right noise and being or, loud, or, making or, topping the charts. How or, does that or, happen? Or is it giving it to the right people that are in those rooms? It's both. Look at how, look at Black Off. He's been doing Grammy deserving albums all his life. Only yeah. got a Grammy now because he made the right people. Yeah, and he's. Pushing, like, you know what I mean? There's more muscle behind his music than there was before, and the name is just bigger. So, how do you explain, how do you explain Nicki Minaj? She got her first uh, 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 Grammy nomination now. This is the first one ever. It's weird. It's like Zakes. You can't understand how Zakes never got a summer till only now. Mm. And he's been giving us bangers. I mean, music, love, light, and music, or whatever. Bro, when you speak, it sounds like it's connections, bro. It sounds like it's partly, all connections. Let's not lie. Partly. Partly it's connections. We know this. We know this. Mm. And there's so many amazing musicians out there. Shout out to the guys who got there from Africa. But we know this. It is connections. Mm. It is. We can't lie, bro. Yeah. What, so you what, can't just submit. Like, okay, I'm just you just submit your music. Because I remember, I think when we were with uh, Black Coffee, didn't he say that there's a huge panel like of um, who just people who sit have to listen to music, you know? So it's not just like maybe a selected few, but it's a what. So that's when you, you submit. There are people who are just there listening and saying, okay, is this like worthy to be nominated? It was Uga Waffles. Didn't she like petition to she did be nominated? Submit. Yeah, she did. She didn't make it. You see? So she submitted. Yeah, I, I mean, I saw her, her Instagram post where she was asking for the support. So clearly she did. Yeah, you must have. I no, mean, but the post was to tag the Grammy Awards so they can... If there's a submission process, yeah. it would be silly to do that and not submit. No, I think she submitted. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying too. But, okay. She just didn't make it. They didn't pick her. Mm. Like, she's one of millions of other artists who, who didn't get picked. Unfortunately, and she's been doing amazing work, but didn't get picked. Yeah, but South Africans <laughs> don't like waffles, eh? Hmm? South Africans don't like waffles, eh? What? I saw people laughing that she didn't like uh, make the cut. So I'm like, but come on, she didn't. So like, a lot of artists don't make the cut. You may find Black Coffee probably submitted before, you know, and didn't make. It's because she doesn't rip SA, bro. I think if she apologizes and starts ripping SA, people will forgive. But she's not her. even from SA. 
Yeah, but she's using the SA uh, uh, sound, uh, you know, to 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 be where she's at, but doesn't credit it. She doesn't. Nah, no, she does it, bro. Ah, For real. Have you ever seen her wear the South African flag or say anything about SA? You know, like Tyler. Tyler goes and interviews now, and she's like, "I'm from Pitori. Uh, this is not twerking. It's Bacardi. This is what we call it." But maybe she fears that at home they're gonna then. Shit on her, like, oh, you're oh, you're South African now, ah, yeah, she like Swatin. Yeah, what? Yeah, but who would you rather have, SA or five people from South Africa? <laughs> home, home is where the heart is. Let's not lie, home is hey, home, bro. Hey. Home is home, man. <laughs> you know, so like you, your vendor, even though you're from here, grew yeah. up here, Park Town, whatever. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. your vendor, your vendor yeah. by blood, your vendor. You yeah. know what I mean? Home is home, bro. Home is where the heart is. There's not a lot of us. Eh? There's like eight hundred, nine hundred thousand of us of vendors. For real? Yeah, it's not a lot. I might be wrong, but it's not a lot. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, cool Fat Checker, yeah, what, what does that tweet say? Well, there's a lot of tweets, so I need clarification. Do you want the one with the Netflix about... No, 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 about the... Gra- yeah, producers, yeah? Okay. He Something says, producers. He says, producers and directors, um, you are missing out on an opportunity. Three out of five African songs nominated for the Grammys, and they are Amapiano, though they are not South African artists. Mm. Someone makes a Netflix documentary about the genre, um, about the genre, its original, its origin, and pioneers before um, African and the world quarter. Exactly. Mm, he's got a point. Though. He's got a point. Who's that? Uh, film Bella. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a point. He does. Because we need to, you know, not to confuse the story of our piano. Because yeah. already, it's so far ahead. People, some don't even, you know, it's getting blurred. The America and all over the world as far as where it's from. The, so. prob- the problem is the artists, dog. They don't take this shit seriously, bro. How so? Like, bro, like uh, most of them, if you yeah. check, ne? most of them, their managers, that's where the fuck up is, right? Mm-hmm. Most of their managers either their their their, their sister, their brother, their girlfriend, their boyfriend, mm-hmm. or like a guy that, that they grew up with, and now they made it big. They're like, "All right, cool, come mm-hmm. manage me." And that's not what a manager does, bro. Mm-hmm. A manager is supposed to put you in in rooms that you can't get into, open doors that you can't open. That's what a manager does. Mm-hmm. But with with these guys, bro, the manager is just like uh, all they do is drink the rider and smoke the hubbly, bro. There's no managing. I kid you not, bro. So what they should do then is have a booking agent, which is, could be that guy, and then have a manager to manage the brand. Yes. There's no difference between any piano artist right now and Tyler. The only difference is that Tyler has a fucking hot management team. Yeah. yeah like I said, who's behind the music? Yeah, exactly. A team's fucking sick, bro. You know what I mean? And niggas need to take this shit seriously, bro, because piano's not going to be hot forever. True. Like when we were talking to the, um, that guy from Cameroon, uh, uh, Stanley Eno Stanley Eno Yeah He was like yeah Piano is hot now Everybody's looking at Africa now But we don't know In, f- in a few years time Maybe Arab music might be hot That's You know true. And then you've missed the boat You know mm-hmm. People need to take this shit seriously bro It's a fucking business bro Yeah And people are just doing it for vibes And Musa Keys is testament to that as well Exactly Who's behind him Who's behind him Tiamo Oh Tiamo A.K.A. Tiamo Yeah oh, A.K.A. Wow. Tiamo He's a manager bro He's good Like fucking T. Lee T. Lee's a manager bro mm. You'll never see T. Lee whether Casper drops an album that's a flop or a hit or whatever, but he gets endorsements, he gets deals, sick mm. deals. He's working, he's managing. Mm. Meanwhile, all these other managers, they're at Conca there while the person is DJ. Hubbly. Yeah, smoking Hubbly. Yindawazi. Yindawazi. Flavor, you eat flavor. That's your manager. That's your manager. Hey, you eat flavor. Ah, I'm a symbol of flavor. I don't love my flavor, man. That's the man. Bro, if you're running a company, right, and mm. you need like a manager or CEO, are you going to hire your friend because you know them nah, from it. childhood? Nah, or are you nah, going to nah. get someone that knows that shit? Yeah, someone that knows that shit who brings in the money. That's what's killing us, I think. No, you're right. You're spot on, bro. Hmm? You're spot on. What do you think goes like? Spot on. No, true. I, 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 I totally agree. You're spot on, yeah. bro. I... You're right. <laughs> no, you're spot on. It's spot right. on. <laughs> no. <laughs> We've had this debate before, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember debate. these words. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I remember the words. Who stylish love? What kumbu ya lamaka? I like that. It's funny. What what does that mean? No kumbu, no bamba lamaka man. Yeah, no bamba lamaka. No, just like mock mock my words. Oh, sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, cool man. Anyway, uh, shout out to Mr. Beast. Did you see what Mr. Beast did? Oh, Mr. Beast. I saw. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Beast. You don't know Mr. Beast. You don't know Mr. Beast. And on YouTube. Yeah. 
I'm not on YouTube. Oh, I'm on YouTube now. He's practically Who's the Beast? richest YouTuber, right? Yeah, yeah. he's like know. the god of YouTube, bro. You don't know Mr. Beast? Yo. No, know Mr. Beast. no, you're kidding, Saul. So. I'm serious, Beast. I don't know Mr. Beast. Fucking hell, he's like the biggest YouTuber. Yeah. Uh, so he came to Africa and he built over 100 boreholes in African countries. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. I don't know the big the guy. Wow, dude, he's massive, Wow, that's bro. beautiful. Where did he build these boreholes? Uh, different countries in Africa. Wow, yeah. shout out to him, man. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful work. And the beauty is that, like, if you'd go to a village and he was just building a, a borehole, ne? and then you'd see, like, the, 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 the kids are walking, like, 10 kilometers to get to the school. Then he gave them uh, bikes. He bought them bikes. Mm. And then he revamped the school as well. Mm. It's a fucking indictment on our leadership, though, man. Bro. It took a fucking YouTuber to get people from America. To, America. to get fucking people bridges there's from America. There's a bridge. Even. There's Safely a bridge, school. yeah. Yeah, you built a bridge as well. Yeah, built a bridge. it's fucking embarrassing, bro. Like, oh. it's typical African. You know, like, how the world perceives us? Mm. Like, that we poverty-stricken, our government can't do shit for their people. Then a YouTuber comes to Africa to help kids get to school. To help people drink water, water clean water. Clean water. Mm. It takes a, an American YouTuber when there's government and millions of... Man. And in the video, Shout he shows him, people... But it's so embarrassing also. And in the video, it, sh- it shows people how easy it was. Yeah. Like, he shows it's what he did. So yeah. embarrassing. So simple, bro. It's it just so goes to show that bro. if the governments in Africa wanted, they could eradicate poverty. Oh, if they wanted. Yeah. So they don't want us. No, because they want the dependence. You know, because if you eradicate uh, poverty, it means you need to educate people. When you educate people, they can think freely but for themselves. They can make decisions with their heads, not with their hearts. And then they can vote differently and then you'll be out of power. Mm. So it benefits their government to keep people poverty stricken. So you can give them 350s and some cents and some food parcels just before the votes. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Yeah, that's how it is. And he was able to accomplish this just in a matter of days. You know, imagine. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, it wasn't something that it was a project that was for a whole year. No, couple of days he was able to achieve these things. Wow. And he's dating a South African girl, hey? From is Cape he? Town. Yeah. Are you for wow. real? Yeah. Yeah. girl. No. <laughs> You'd be out of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, it reminds me this week I was watching this I was watching this movie it's called Dumb Money has anyone seen it yet? Mm-mm. Dumb Money yeah you must watch it Dumb I Money I seen Dumb Money so just to give you like a crux of the movie right it's, it's, it's this YouTuber right yeah so he's a guy who's really like into stocks and the whole stock exchange and whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and um, he starts a YouTube channel and uh, not to give too much away, but like he basically builds up a community on YouTube, right? Yeah. That basically wants to give a middle finger to Wall Street. Yeah. So he bought stocks that Wall Street th- said like they'll never do anything, yes, like yes, they're yes, useless yes, or whatever. Yes, yes. And he bought yes, them. He's like, guys, I believe in this company. I believe in these stocks. And um, if you believe in me too, uh, let's rally together as, you know, people at the bottom and say fuck you to these guys that are rich that own these um what are those, these hedge funds oh, yeah. at Wall Street, whatever. So like for a few years, it's a true story, by the way. Hmm. Uh, for wow. a few years, there was a, there was the, 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 the community grew bigger and bigger and they bought more stocks. So his, more, his stocks became more valuable. valuable and the rich guys started losing money. Like oh. it was hectic. It even got to the government, the wow. US government and to get involved and stuff like that. But you must watch it. It's very powerful. So it got me thinking, bro, like how much power do we really have, bro? Like online, if a guy, one guy can do that and shake up the whole of Wall Street. There's a lot of power. There's a power in numbers, bro. So, do you get what I'm saying? Online is the best medium to unite people. So there's power, bro. Like lots of power. So don't you think we can do the same, but for politicians? Because it's just need to unite. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Hey, don't you think we can do the same, bro? We can. Oh, I don't know what it looks like, but we can, bro. If we, if we rally together, come together. We can make these fuckers in see flames, form, bro. In what form? In what form, though? Like, yeah. Make the them accountable, bro. Or vote them out. In, in what form? I don't know. That's, that's what I'm saying. I don't know what it looks like. Yeah. But I feel like if we uh, 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 come together, unite, <laughs> especially using this, right? Because the power's here. Instead of doing like fucking TikTok challenges and TikTok dances. And fucking every sell a day. tape to the Yay. ceiling. <laughs> yes. Before you even tidy up our rooms. Oh. No, no, the ceiling challenge is the one. Ah. That one can stay, that one. No, but I'm saying, but what I'm saying, dog, <laughs> hear, hear me out, dog. What yeah. I'm saying, if we got together, 
thought yeah. about a way to make these fucking politicians accountable. Because, mm-hmm. bro, they even do it blatantly now. They don't even care because there's no repercussions. Oh, yeah, yeah. You heard about the 500 billion, uh, 500 um, million deal. No. There's a deal happening uh, to create employment uh, using UIF funds. Mm unemployment uh, funding and then uh, one of the guys who's you know making the deal happen his company is at the center of of it all um got a, 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 a people calling him and meeting up with him saying that certain ministers want 10 percent and certain political figures are saying they want 10 percent and that's like 500 million and now he's made a noise he mentioned um balula he didn't even mention names but i mean when you say secretary general of the anc we all know mm. you know when you say that the, the labor and unemployment minister to listen you see we all know you know and then uh bladen's monday as well and they all like running around opening up court uh, 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 uh cases against this guy etc blatant you know? And nothing's going to happen. The and nothing's going to happen. Oh, nothing. Because they'll say, no, it wasn't us. These people are using my name, but I'm not part of this deal. I didn't say I want anything, whatever. But it's so blatant, bro. It's just the happening. Just like that is insane, bro. Yeah, bro. But you're right, man. If we unite as people and take a stand, I don't know what it would look like, what it should be, how we should do it. But, I mean, the basic is voting, for example. You know? Hey, Coast Lady, do you know how much power we have, bro, as young people? Yeah. I do understand. And I'm, for me, it's just like, how do we, how, how do we actually activate that? Like, so when we're actually now using that power, a step by step as the youth or as the, we've got the numbers, what do, what do we do tomorrow? How do we start? Bro, you must watch Dumb Money, man. When I was watching the movie, I'm like, why can't we do this, bro? Let's check Dumb Money out. I must check it out, eh? What do you think, now? No, I know you're very big into these politics things. It's very political, yeah. yeah what do you think, bro? I believe we have reached a point where we don't have to depend on the system that is the government anymore. And living in a digital space right now, we can see that anything is possible. You see, we're seeing young young millionaires and everything. Yeah. I think it's it all goes down to us, you know, having that solidarity and saying, okay, guys, if one young kid from South Africa can do it on YouTube, why don't we all do it, you know? Oh. And see what what might be the outcome from that, but if we're gonna wake up and say we're gonna depend on how the system has been for the past twenty five years, I I think there's no way forward from that. <laughs> no, yeah, he's right. But are, we, are we able to extract the, the the money though? How do we get the money from the governments? Is then is is that possible? Look, sometimes it's not even about the money, like. What Neil was saying, like we don't, we don't need to depend on government for handouts, but we need a government that's going to at least meet us halfway and create the environment. For example, Starlink was rejected to come to South Africa last time I checked. Yeah. That would open a lot of doors for kids, you know what I mean? Free internet, yeah. basic things like that, you know, that will let them, let the people do their thing. You know? And why but do right they reject now we're living it, at a point where They com- want kickbacks. They want, ki- they want the kickbacks, obviously. They said they want to, the, the, the company that does it must be uh, the people, the Starlink in South Africa must have uh, a fifth, like previously disadvantaged people, etc., which is a good idea and, and all, but we know that the people are going to then get you know, access uh-huh. to that door, have not to be affiliated or connected, you know, exactly. drink vibes. Do you get me? But we just need a, a, a government that can create that environment for the, the people to thrive. Not necessarily handouts and money and things like that, just create the environment for people to thrive. You know, let's, crime in the country easier access to information internet should be free at this stage i mean shabo kenya and stuff you know where internet is not as expensive as it is yeah and look at the innovation happening there and we've got the talent in south africa but uh, sometimes it's the facilities we don't have what did you think of the trevor noah uh, come to south africa Ooh. video I love it. I think it's brilliant. You like man. it? Yeah. I love it, bro. I said it's brilliant. It's I love beautiful. it. And Trevor Noah wrote it himself. He was like, well, oh, a bit you, can yeah, you can tell. Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. tell. I really gave him a script. And then he was like, ah, this thing is pop. What <laughs> is this? Name? <laughs> then I'll do it myself, uh, obviously, with his people. Bro, I hate it when brands do that, man. You've got the funniest comedian in the world. And Why? You, and you want to give him a script? Mm. Brands like that. Brands like that, bro. Like, they will give them things, people things. Doom pop ups on them get given scripts for their stuff because they're so brilliant. 
brilliant. You, a brand would be silly to say, we want it like this. You don't know better than this guy. He's number one comedian in the country. Exactly. The Kit Kat campaign, the first one, they got a script. I could tell. <laughs> That's why I, I wanted you to mention them. I wanted you to, to mention them deliberately. I could tell. I'm like, what is this? And the second one's after that, it's it's pops in them. They Leave them. the yeah. guys to do what they do. Yeah, it's their expertise, yeah. man. Yeah, it's like if you want to advertise on the podcast and then you're giving us the script. Like, no, let us do what we yeah. do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and we'll... Do this Make thing magic. properly. Exactly. I love it. People mm. out here, they are complaining. Guys, it's not government money that was spent, yeah. you know, uh, for Trevor. And whatever millions it is, it's Trevor. That's what he quotes. That's what he charges. The man must get what he charges. So you know he's deserving of it. He's providing yes. a service. Yes. Yeah. Who tells you that when it's a lot of like funny, you know, wherever you work? <laughs> for real, people have been like that. Like, ah, Trevor, no, in England, my left for the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, oh, who tells you? Whatever you're getting paid is what you either negotiated or it's what you are worth. Mm. Now, Trevor now is either what he's negotiated and it is what he's worth. Yeah. Mm. He's a global, people are like, yeah, they should have used Uncle Waffles or the. Tired of the show, just tired of Uncle Waffles. I'm like, man, how no. many Germans? Not even five Germans, maybe know, you know, who uh, 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 Uncle Waffles is. Mm. You know what I mean? I know hate to her, but this is Trevor Noah. Bro. Exactly. Mm. The world over, people have been watching The Daily Show the past, what, five, seven years? Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, but I love it. I, I really do. Um, it could have shown more diversity in the country because um, I don't think tourists just want to go to Cape, Cape Town and, and safari, safari like places only. But then they did have a limited time as well. But yeah, but I, I think it's a brilliant ad. Yeah, Crisp, nice and clean. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghost Lady, what you got for us? And by the way, these stories are brought to you by my Pep Panda. Oh, yeah. It's, it's oh, what you got for us? Yeah. yeah. Guys, you know Anne Lezondo? Yeah. Yes. 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 I love that track. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Musician? Yeah. She's a presenter. Yeah. I know her for doing sports, right? The girl does sports. No. She's a pre- no. Presents. No. What does she present? She presents a TV she, show. She TV presents show. sports. Yeah, MTV kind of. No, yeah. she doesn't do sports. And bro. she's also an actor. Actress. There's a Zondo girl, man, who does uh, sports on 5 FM breakfast. Oh, that's Polizondo. Oh, my bad, my bad. I was on. I'm a chief justice. I'm a Raymond. My name, my name. My name. Okay, I don't know her. I know so, the name, though. So she is allegedly two timing Caesar and Tony. Tony Dewado, who's a friend of. Tanzania. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's the guy who produced Tanzania. Tanzania and the Banker Waffles. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Caesar is the son of Un Tlantla and um, T. King Lisa. Okay. Yeah. Okay, mm. so now to, what, what they were they were seen at the Leonardo Hotel together. Who? No, Tony. Who oh, Anel? Anel and Tony. Yes. Anel they were is spotted. dating oh, Caesar. Yes. Ivana. Yeah. Sure. It was so. Tony. Mm-hmm. So Tony's Brutus. <laughs> ah. For backstabbing Caesar. Ah. <laughs> right? Is it backstabbing, dog? Oh. Fucking your your your, your dudes uh, thingy. Uh, but if your girl is loose, my dog, what must he do? Hi. Eh? How? Damn, nah, that's still backstabbing, bro. Like, yeah. like if my girl is loose, you tell me, oh man, you know, I think this, but to go ahead and fuck her, that's backstabbing, bro. Ah, uh, bro, you've done me a favor. Nah, that's no, nah, that's messed up, bro. Mm. Why are niggas even trying to attempt? How how do niggas know your girlfriend is loose? Why are they even trying to attempt to fuck your girl? I'm also just shocked. At if she's loose, I get you, but that's still a backstabbing. You can't exonerate yourself, bro. Every time, every time you tell a girl because she wanted to. Yes. Yeah. So that means she's loose. Huh, eh? What, what do you if mean, she's uh, just in love with you? It's not about being loose. It's just about she loves you. She wants to be with you. So then why is she yeah. chowing my friend? Then yeah, then she must leave the friend. Oh, okay. No, no. In, in, in that context, obviously, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm also judging. It's like, yo, why would you sleep with a friend? Exactly. Like, girl, like, yo, why would okay, you sleep the with a friend? Okay, here's the thing. Okay, Mac. Someone sleeps with your woman, right? Mm-hmm. And then you say it's because the woman is loose. Then, theoretically, you should continue being friends with the guy. Yes. Would you be friends with them? Yes, definitely. Oh, bullshit. Bro, I'm going to be like, so, thank you, man. I dodged uh, a bullet. Nah. What do you no, mean? No. You hit two birds with one stone. Yes, you leave the girl because now, you know, you're chilling with uh, a yeah, loose person. Yeah, and also your person, friend. Like, ah, uh-uh. A loose thing, yeah? And then you dump your friend because also you're chilling it's with just, a backstab. Uh, I dump your my friend. I dump my friend. Your friend, friend, your friend Mamelan, is loose. Mamelan, I'll continue. Your friend is loose. Mamelan, I dump my friend. Eh? If he made a move on my woman, 
And she said no. And she comes to me. She's like, hey, do you know Ursol hit on me? Then that's fuckery. But if your girl hits on the guy and the guy says no, yo, bro, your girl, you know, I almost smashed your girl, but I didn't because you're my boy. Your girl is loose. That's how it's done. Not just smashing and say, hey, by the way, your girl is loose. Oh, it's the same thing, bro. No, it's not. Uh, it's the same uh, thing, No, guys. it's not. What's the difference? The difference is the fact that you are penetrating my woman. Even though she wants it, yeah, I get it, but you must be the one to tell my, me, yo, my, at, at, the end of the day, at the end of the day, do we not get to the point where we know she's loose? Whether you smashed or not, is evident she's loose. No, 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 no. Yeah, it is. So I that's all that. I want to know. That's part number one. Part number two is, would my nigga smash my woman? Part number two, I mean, yeah. would my nigga smash my woman? Yeah. So if you would say to the guy, to Saul, ah, your woman are almost, but Ndwana, she was willing to. That's noble. I, That's just being noble. But at the end of the day, it says one thing about her. Or she's loose. No. Uh, if she's my main girl. Just, no, if she's you, my main girl. Yeah, but if you smash like so, a, a girl that maybe no, that's we're talking about a main girl. Oh, oh, then right. Both the people are a both. fuck, a fuck, a both. fuck. No. The girl no. And, what and what the did friend. the guy do, my man? No. What did the guy do? He smashed. Oh, man. You just... I'm not. Is there no one else here no. who, who like gets what I'm saying? Only you know, yeah, no one agrees with you in the room. Guys, I'm always right. Guys. No, your you're friend. not. No, no one agrees with you. No. no, you're not. No, you're not. No one agrees with you in the room. That was 10 minutes ago. I don't make a cool of magic. In real life. I need to call. I need to call someone. Who can I call to back me up? No, Mac. Yeah. No, you can't have it. Hey, you are a musician. I mean, you know these things, bro. No. Call Cat Master. Call Cat Master. <laughs> He's producing for gospel oh, artists. Okay, like... let's call Cat Master. No, it's a betrayal, bro. Ah. It's not a betrayal, guys. Ah. It's a betrayal. It says a lot about your woman, bro. No. It does. It says both and about the, both, both characters. Your it says a lot and about your woman. Ah. Yeah, my friend did nothing, man. Ah. It says it's it's, it's 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 an indictment on both of them. I your hear friend the people you write with. It's man. it's my woman's responsibility to be loyal. Not my friends. <gasps> oh, so okay. So your friend's job is to try try a woman. It's so to that's try your woman. Yes. Oh, that's, every, that's, ba that's basically saying go try, my man. Come on now. No, no, no. <gasps> but you're saying. So you're saying it's your your your, your niggas' jobs to expose your woman for being loose. Mm. Therefore, it's their duty to keep trying her. No, 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 no. no. I'm not saying that. You're making it but sound you like no, you that's are, mandatory. I'm saying in such a situation where they got together. I want to be like, ah, poison, thank you. You saved me a bullet. Let's go have a beer. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Then I move on. Then I move on. Then I know she's not with me. Bro, uh, that's I'm telling you, bro. Like okay, let's call Cat Master. We'll make it. it, it and, I, and I'm not saying this just for argument's sake. Like, I really believe that. No. Nah, no. No way. Why must I be mad at my Look, nigga, bro? The it's not his responsibility to be loyal to me. It what do you mean it is his responsibility his, his to responsibility. be loyal to you? No! What kind of friends, are you rolling with? As a friend, with? your, resp no, your responsibility no, no, is to I'm be talking, loyal. I'm not dating my friend, bro. I'm, not, I'm talking about relationship-wise. Yeah. Relationship-wise, I'm not dating my friend. Yeah. So he's got no loyalty to me, relationship-wise. <gasps> but... Ah, uh -uh. No, hey, man. Uh, no. Master. No. Who cried poison? Ah, uh, the best winner. Yeah, uh, Sol, uh, explain. Uh, 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 I'm getting uh, uh, mad. Uh, uh, I'm getting mad. Uh, 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 master, are you crying? Uh, uh, Shut up. My man, I'm Yeah. Uh, if, if your woman uh, yes. sleeps with one of your friends, mm -hmm. obviously you dump your woman, or well, I assume, do you stop being friends yeah, with Tum Cheetah? Straight, straight up, dog. You stop being friends with Tumchita, right? Yeah, you shouldn't because it only proves that your woman is weak and loose. Men will be men. You must continue being boys with the guy because he's, he, he helped you dodge a bullet. When I as a friend, why would you test a woman to have? Thank you. Jaya, I'm getting a lap point. Get a lap, Mr. Get a lap. Get a lap. <laughs> if I'm fan, if I'm a fan. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. Yeah, sorry? I'm saying, Kat, you must end your relationship with Meg. He's not a good friend. But first, you've got another first bear in the next two Meg, isn't it? Yeah, okay. You've got another first bear in the next two Meg. And Baba, you've got a bad guy. I've got a bad guy. You've 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 got a bad guy. That's fine, that's fine. Right? Okay, that's cool. Right. Fade, fade. But like, you, you I get what you mean, right? 
Vele, the biggest betrayal in that situation would be from your woman. Mm. Because it's like, okay, she is loose indeed. But it's also like, I'd rather if my woman is loose, I shower any out, then I shower Muntua lying like with friendship within our circle. Because that's a massive, massive betrayal. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the L on this one, even though I don't agree with you guys, but it's fine. You yeah. still well, don't majority agree? Majority rules. You still don't agree. Nah, I don't, bro. I don't. At that point, the moment my nigga smashes, she's not my woman anymore. Do you have are you still a friend with someone who actually ended up with your uh, your, your ex? Or, if, mm. or are you still friends with someone yeah. whose woman you smashed? Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> yes. yes. One of my good friends, actually. Oh. You see, but maybe it wasn't... And like, it wasn't just me. We were all smashed before yeah. he made a woman. That's understandable because it wasn't her main, like, proper girlfriend. Maybe, maybe he was single or just... You know, sometimes there's these girlfriends who want you not girlfriends like umuntu o pusha nai you even tell your friends good evana is all over shy as in those kind of girls if those you got you got it umuntu no poison it was it was a girl that i smashed first and then i get i get it's a crew yeah. right so i smashed first and then my other friend smashed and then my other friend smashed and then you know on the fourth one you know you wanted to make her a woman we were like ah oh, poison yeah that's different that's what i mean mm. like yeah, that's different. That's different. And he made a woman. And nah, they have a kid together. That's silly. He's silly. Yeah. Ah, that's silly. Please don't even tell me his name because <laughs> I don't want to meet him. I don't even want to meet him because when I meet him, I'll tell you you're a silly man. What, <laughs> what is this? Like, you do know, you go for Do on. you go and visit him? Yeah, yeah we're still friends. Yeah, like, there's nothing good. wrong with marrying someone who's been around, just not around Well, they're not circle. together anymore. He's moved on, but uh, we're you, still friends. Because he realized. He fucked nah, around and found not. out. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking found out. He fucked around and found out. He found out. Why, is, why isn't he with her anymore? He found out. Hey, we tried to tell him, dog. I remember we were all in the car. Oh, bro. We sat him down. We're like, yo, poison, you can't make her a woman, bro. We've all smashed her. I'm like, in this car, we've... <laughs> Like literally. And it's like, no, people change. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, Give man, her a chance. Don't do that, bro. Aye, aye. Why would you want to do that, man? Hey, talk. Love. Nah. It's love. Whoa. Nah. But anyway, what else you got for us, eh? Okay, I'm gonna test your your your, your morals again on this other story. I just um, okay. So Jedena, remember Jedena? He was on that song with I'm a classic. Um, yeah, yeah. Man. Yes. Yeah, we know the Canadian guy. Yes, yeah. Um, so he was uh, so there was a video of him and he was just saying he's very like he feels very bad and you know regretful of his past because he felt like he wasted a lot of um uh like his exes or the woman he's been with like in terms of their prime years so it's almost like you know what you dating for longs with someone and you don't end up really committing so it's like that thing of he feels bad and he's now even apologizing to those women that he's like you know I I I literally took your prime years in our just dating, you know, Ooh. aimlessly. So therefore I feel bad. And cause look at you now, oh. it's like you could have been someone or been a, a wife or whatever, but. Ah, but I, there's nothing to apologize. It's part of the journey, man. It's part of the journey. And they were consenting there. It's not like you locked them up in a room. No, <laughs> no. In the house. <laughs> Hi, boy. Spewing and then this gold. We tried. What's that as a song? What's that as a song? Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Spewing and then this gold. Hi, boy. No names. No names. You've been looking up a girl, bro. Yeah? Not locked up. No, no, no. Yeah. She, she's been visiting. Yeah. She visited Spiwe like two weeks ago and she's still at Spiwe's place. Wow. She's from a different province. Wow. Yeah. Not locked up. Not like R. Kelly vibes. No. Like, yeah. She's gonna go buy bread in her, in her shorts and t shirts and stuff. Wow. Like that. Yeah. She's around. She's, you know. So, so she doesn't have school, work, nothing. She, 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 yeah. What's that? Like? <laughs> Wait. She's a student. <laughs> <laughs> she was cute. You got a point. I think you fine. So like this woman, oh, oh, oh she works from home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she gets this work, all right. 
So these women had, could could have left as well. You know what I mean? It's not like they were trapped in this situation. It's it's noble of him and it's nice of him. It's beautiful, right? Because it is the man who's supposed to lead the relationship towards marriage and propose, live happily ever after. But now as a female, when you're seeing what it's been five years or three years and this guy is not heading towards there, it's, it's the, the responsibility is on you. It's your life. It's your future. Now when the body clock is ticking, you can't blame that on a nigga. As well, you know what I mean? Like, so, not in my passage of what is, hey, Where do they think the girl is, the, the parents? Where do they think she is? <laughs> what is that? What is that? Where do the parents think she is? For two weeks, dog. No, they know she's visiting a friend. Come on now, right? Yeah. Oh, she's a student, remember? They're thinking we are fooling that. <laughs> But I'm too sad. They think we are fooling that. I'm a dunsa. Oh, she like did your hair. Dunsa. She had plaited your hair. <laughs> yeah. She... Oh. I got so we fro. That's why <laughs> she's got a fro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said to you when I said to you now. You fro. I was going to say fro out. Let's see a fro, bro. So, what does she say? <laughs> Two weeks. I know. Uh-uh, no. It's not, it's not it's like a week and a few days. Five days. Five days. Five days. Five days. Uh, no pace, time, man. Though. It's like a week now. Does she cook and stuff now? Yeah. Yo. Ooh. Hey. That yes was very you fast. You don't know using condoms now, right? Yeah. You stopped after the first of day. Of course. Like... Let's call her, bro. Let's talk to her, bro. Let's call her. Find out when yeah, yeah, she's yeah, leaving, bro. Come on. Yeah, let's call her. Come on. Come on. Let's call her, bro. Let's call her. We don't let's know what her name is. We I mean, she can't come to some Spewe, famous Spewe for a week and not be on the podcast. Let's call her. Come on, Come on, Spewe. Come on, Spewe. Let's call her, man. She's probably at home watching the podcast now. Yeah, true. True. Ah, no, 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 it's for the man, you think I'm far, Joe? It's for the man. Oh, I can't. What's our time machine, man? Yeah, I'm not machine, Mr. Vance. Ah, no, let's use, let's use your phone. We'll put it here. We'll put it here. Yeah. We'll put the speaker here. <laughs> when I see you strike, I'm going to support us. So you strike us here to your support. I'm going to contest. Strike us here. I'm going to change the number 10. <laughs> <laughs> we won't say a name. We won't say a name. We won't say a name. Come yeah. on now. Let's go. Does she have a boyfriend? Does she have a boyfriend? Oh, oh. oh you'll bleep it. <laughs> yeah, I remember this one, man. Yes. Oh, shit. Yes. So I'm from. Oh, she's not answering. Yeah, man. Ah, she's not answering. Been doing. Yeah. Ah, she'll call back. She'll call back. Hey, what's up, police? Who cool? That's who I. Yeah, 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 She's waiting for me to hey, you got Oh, now for real. Oh, oh beautiful, love, bro. Job. Yeah, he's in love. My nigga's in love. Get in the land, don't I am. Maybe she doesn't have data. Do you have Wi-Fi there by your house? Yeah. Okay, let's oh, call okay. directly. Ulele, <laughs> ne? Chenil. Yeah, okay. I know we tried, so. Yeah, we tried, man. The gods are with you, bro. The <laughs> gods are with you. Anyway, let's play a game, man. We haven't played a game in a while. Uh, would you rather? We're going to play a game of would you rather. You guys ready? So that's a story about what you Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But so, teach Oh, you're going to talk about Chetena, but it's valid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you, I thought you were going to talk about L.A. Reid. 
Being yeah, that's suspected. my other. If you ask me. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a, another one I wanted to talk about. L.A. Reid. So basically, um, he's um, accused of uh, sexual assault by a woman named Drew Dixon, saying it happened 20 years ago. Mm. The accuser apparently claims that L.A. Reid derailed her once promising music career after she rejected his sexual advances somewhere in um, 2001. I could believe that, man. It was rife during those times. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. But also, it could be possible that she wasn't that good a singer. Then he hit on her, and then she still didn't make it, though, after he rejected her. After she rejected him, brother. Mm. It could still be that, because let's be honest, man. A hundred people want to sing, one only makes it and becomes that global superstar or even a national superstar. Yeah, but these execs have so much power, bro. They can cock block you from like the whole industry, especially then before the internet. Does it say how she just blackballed or yeah, yeah, yeah. blackballed her? Does it say? Not necessarily. It Unless it was deliberate, like she's she's got receipts. Would she she stopped uh, you know deals from happening or yes. closed doors on her? Yes, yeah, and there, yes, and there. Yes, but yes. it's possible that he did hit on her, mm. which these motherfuckers in the music industry do a lot, which is messed up, you know, couch casting and all these mm. things. But it's also just the numbers game of the industry. Not everybody gets to make it. Because she is seeking like compensation through a lawsuit right now. Yeah. It's a, it's a real thing she's going yeah. to. Yeah. So uh, it, it, it's maybe she's got her. So, wait, what is evidence. she suing for? Because he made advances, she rejected him. There was no assault, right? No, it sounds like there was an assault. Was there an assault? Like yeah. sexual assault? Yeah, yeah, yeah sexual yeah. assault. Oh, know? not that. Yeah. Oh, oh, so okay, it's okay. sexual assault. Ah, then she must go get her bag then. Yeah. Nah, they Niggas I wonder why she came out now. If niggas came out sexualizing, I mean... But you know, whenever someone is ready to talk, people or, you know, mm. remember, it's whenever a victim is ready to talk and come out... Uh, and if there was assault, then, ah, then yeah, she must go to town. Yeah. I mean, they must just get all these execs in one room and then let's just How? clear it out in the air so once and for all. Do you, do you really think, Mac, that's going to happen? You put them in there and just ask them one by one, did you? And they'll say no. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm. It's also... You have the, the victims are the ones who have to come out. Expecting that from the perpetrators, that will never happen. That is messed up, man. Mm. And those guys have signed a lot of people. L.A. Reid and Babyface Whoa. with uh, La or Face. Asha. Right? Yes. Yeah, La Face, the, the label. Yeah. I mean, a lot of females as well. Now you start to wonder, you know, what's he, what's just busy signing? and how many are quiet out there? Yeah, fact check. <laughs> Um, just to put it out there, according to the New York Times, there's actually three females. The one that's speaking out in public is one of the three. Okay. And it is a case that's taking mm. place in a federal court mm. at Ooh. the moment. Yo, man, have you guys been following that DJ Envy thing? No, I saw about the that. Ponzi the Ponzi scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I haven't been following oh. it. Hey, man, it's Akala. It's Akala. And my people have warned. The people were wondering, I'm about, what's the... Podcaster Joe, Joe Biden. Joe Biden, yeah. yeah he, Just he to give context, uh, uh, DJ Envy hosts The Breakfast Club <laughs> with Charlemagne, right? Yeah. And then he got a guy who just came out of prison or mm. has been in prison for scamming. Uh, and uh, they partnered up um, and they did it like a whole property Ponzi scheme, right? right? Yeah. Well, now it's coming out that it was a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. But DJ Envy had this guy on the show to promote the scheme and mm. get clients and so many people lost money and millions. But like it's wild, man. So like bad. every single day, something new is coming out. Bro. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Because ever since I'm not DJ Envy has been talking about property and all the work he's doing, so he's known as the property. But if guy. you watch those videos as well, man, if you got scammed by those guys, now you get to some degree you deserved it, man. If you watch those videos and them talking yeah, about them, no one here knows <laughs> thing about property. No one knows what they're talking about. You know what I mean? The way they just speak, like, yeah, 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 you're going to make a million. Like, oh, come on, yeah. guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes the want a scammer who can scam, look at themselves, have a long look at themselves. You know, when you get scammed, sometimes the signs are there. You're just too desperate to even see the red flags. But how does DJ Envy work with someone who just comes from prison for credit fraud? <clears throat> and you're going to start a business with him? Well, look, people deserve second chances. chances yeah. Truth be told, you know what I mean? It's not like Envy was scammed himself. If he was scammed, I was going to say he's giving the guy a second chance and then he's, he, he got burnt. But now, clearly, he, conf he, he was an accomplice. He knew exactly. No, no, well he's saying he's, he didn't know. No, nah, nonsense. But he's saying he made money. Where's the money he made from the properties he supposedly flipped? Where's yeah. the money he made? Yeah. 
Because if there was no money that he made, then he knew it's a scam and he was scheming with this guy as well. Mm. But the guy, people coming out from prison, they deserve second chances too. But if someone robbed a bank, went to prison for robbing a bank, then come down and say, so let's go rob a bank. I'm like, fuck you, man. You know, I don't rob banks. Mm. So Envy should have said that. He wasn't a victim. He's going to play that card that he was a victim. That's just yeah, him. Must have known. I mean, the officers were in the same building, same officers. Mm. Uh, come on. No, he must have known, bro. Yeah. Anyway, are you ready for the game? Would you rather? Yes! yes! All right, let's go. Would you rather sleep with your ex or someone in this room? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at Pet Jacker? Because I'm going to you, you, <laughs> you can't really look at me. No, you can't look at me. If, if you must be concerned if I had like eight options. <laughs> I only have two options. Yeah. Why must we be concerned if you have eight options? Huh? Why must we be it's concerned? It's not concerning, it's okay. Because I'd rather than sleep with you. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I see, what you're doing, <laughs> I see what you're doing there, nigga. This nigga trying to throw him under the bus. A very colorful bus. <laughs> um, <laughs> why is it? Why is it taller one day? You know what? Why is it taller? I'm thinking. I, I'd rather sleep with my ex. Sleep with the ex. Why is that? <laughs> ah, that's why. I because, because, because I'm thinking, I was thinking, you know, and obviously people have made this whole do-do salt thing a thing. Yeah. So if I say, I'd rather smash it, yeah. then it's problems. Yeah. Matter deep down, you'd rather smash it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Your secret it. is safe with us. Don't worry, don't worry, son. Don't worry. You're our brother. Uh, hmm? You ghost lady? I, I'd have to be an ex then. An ex? Mm. You're going back to JR. <laughs> Make the circle oh, be go. You're making the circle be go? <laughs> Excuse JR. You're wow, no one in this room. Oh. Does, oh. does your husband know any of your exes? Yes, oh, he knows one. For real? He knows. Hey, man, I'm not trying to know yeah. my women's exes. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, you probably, chances are you probably have met. Yeah, and I don't but know. You didn't, she didn't yeah, tell I you. Know. He's probably a chiller. Brother, you don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Hi, Chan. I think all our exes are chillers, actually. <laughs> You, Mac? Would yeah. you rather smash someone here or your ex? No, 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 someone, in, someone here, man. My ex was evil, yo. Why? You, you talk as if there was one. <laughs> the recent one. Boy, please. Wait, Ten why, years ago. Why, 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 why? Why do you say she's evil, bro? Oh, man, she was just an evil spirit, man. I remember. Yeah, yeah. How do you hook up with an evil spirit? How? Ah, bro, you know me. Because you were dark, too. Me? Yeah. I'm dark. No, I'm saying for you to be hooking up, it's like you also had some darkness, too. Nah, bro, you know me. I'm nonchalant. I give people chances, you know. We're kicking it, you know. It was at a time where I wanted to settle down, you know, and she <laughs> she she was cool with it, you know. Okay, see. And I was on like this. So, and then she got pregnant, and I was like, "Oh, it's my first kid, you know. Let me be a good father." You know. And then um, her friend, wow, three hundred and sixty full circle, eh? And then her friend, <clears throat> they came to my house one day, so she was staying with me now because she's pregnant, right? So I'm like, all right, let me do the right thing. Right. So she, her friend comes over. Now her friend is hitting on me. She wanted my chops. Right. So I'm like, I, now I'm not about these vibes. So I go to to the to my ex. I'm like, yo, your friend is hitting on me. Oh, oh. you just con con contradicted yourself in one show. In one show. In one show. In one no, show. man, let's not go back to that. Yeah, but yeah, anyway, but go on, go on. So now it ended up being a fight between the two of them. They are calling. They come there. I'm praying. The friend is like, "Man, fuck you, Mac. How could you even tell her that? You don't even know. Last week she was getting fucked by Mang Mang. Mm. Ouch, bro. Yeah, what were those vibes? I don't know what was going on. Yeah, bro. So then, uh, so then I'm like, ah, fucking hell. This is wild, man. So obviously now uh, we've got the baby. What do I do? I'm like, right, for the baby's sake, we'll keep pushing. What? what? And then we went to for 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 a checkup. When we get to the checkup, uh, the doctor's like, "Yo, it seems like you lost the baby." Yo, did I not go? <laughs> Dodge the bullet. Haven't seen her since. Damn, bro. Yeah, she was wild, man. She was evil. When we used to fight, she like she'd be like, "Fuck you, I hate you. I'm gonna abort this baby and send you a picture." 
Maybe she did abort the baby. No, no, no. She had some complications. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Dodge the bullet, eh? Hey, dog. Dodge the bullet. If the kid was yours. Imagine. Huh? Possible that it wasn't even yours. Was it probably? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Possible. Not, yeah. I mean, she was messing around. And, yeah. Oh, geez. Obviously. I mean, come on now. Yeah. Is this thing of picking chicks up at clubs? Now, nah, okay. You took a cooler box and <laughs> <laughs> thought you'd store your steak and make it a fridge in the house. What is ah, this? She seemed cool, dog. She was a cool mm. chick. She was but a you fight. were young. We were young also. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. Wild the bullets. Wild, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which, next one, next time, uh, would you rather? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, would, you would you rather? rather? Uh, would you rather never be able to masturbate again or never be able to have sex again? Never be able to masturbate again, no. Yeah. Masturbate. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come on now. Who holds masturbation higher than sex? Sex. Mm. Nah, that's a weak <laughs> one, man. That's not even no, no, okay, let's room. ask uh, you, Mac. Huh? No, no, no. Yeah, it I'd sounds rather... like he wants no, to let go of sex. No, sounds no. Like you want to let go of sex. No, no. Okay. Yeah. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Your masturbation took a hand in marriage. <laughs> and you say, I'm marrying you. What is this? Come on, man. No, I'm playing devil's advocate here. Yeah. Nah, man. I'd rather go with masturbation. Okay. I mean, who needs masturbation? Uh, would you rather sex your boss or your neighbor? Hey, I only have male neighbors. Uh, female was a German family. They've left now. Problem not much German, poisy. Problem not much German. No, there's also uh, a Kenyan. Oh, okay. uh, yes. Um, boss. Sixty. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Hey. Relax. Hey. Let's not panic. Let's not miss the meaning. Let me seven to me. You, 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 you. I hear you, man. 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 I you, man. No, 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 no. Not back, man. But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in any situation. I'm not specifically wherever I work. Any situation. I'd rather sleep with my boss. It comes with more benefits. You know what I mean? I mean, come No, on. did you say no? Sex, sex. You get like... bonus. You get nothing for sleeping with your neighbor. <laughs> except for headaches. And you're living, you're living, you know, like in a risky situation now because it's a neighbor. So, boss, it comes with benefits. Yeah, 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 yeah your boss. Shit, that's actually smart, actually. Yeah, definitely <laughs> the boss. And you could say sex, sex testing, right? Sex. Yeah, yeah, it's a neighbor. Neighbor? Oh. You'd rather yeah, sex to your neighbor? Eh? You'd rather sex to your neighbor? Yeah, yeah. I'd Could rather a neighbor person. than a boss. Hey, exactly. shop. It's too close. What's too okay, close? Well, you see, my I, I don't I don't necessarily I'm not close with my neighbors, so maybe that's why it's like oh, it could be a hey, it was a mistake, so mm. so rather your neighbor. Yeah, I'm just saying like I'm not close with my neighbors, so that's why I don't I don't really know them that well, you know. Mm. So I know. Them, yeah. All right, last one. Would you rather see a nude photo of the person to your left or to your right? <laughs> <laughs> So, ghost lady, tattoos on your right, uh, nails on your left. Penduka. Doodles on my right. Doodles. My right. My right. My right. Hey, hey, hey. Tibla's hey, so on your right. Tibla. I'm on your left. Yes, you've got Mac. Yeah. <laughs> so, you've got Tibla and Mac. Hey, yeah, which so. dude would you rather see? <laughs> you know, me and my man, you know. <laughs> As a champion of our constitution, yeah. it, I believe in rights. <laughs> so, uh, I... <laughs> man, Tibla and Mac, oh, fuck <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> what, are you imagining them naked now? No. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to see anyone. Let's no, no, no. You got to answer, dog. You said my earlier one was weak. You have to answer. Uh, Tibla. I'll just be random. Come on. Tibla's my boy, man. Yeah, Tibla, you know man. what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Niggas are niggas. Niggas see niggas naked on the road. You know what I mean? When niggas are showering, you enter like, oh shit. Sorry, I didn't see you in here. It's whatever. At the gym, you see niggas naked in the change rooms. Mm. It's whatever, man. Yeah. You go like a, a thing. <laughs> no, it's it's just awkward. No, oh, 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 tattoo. Oh, beg me. I mean, I'm pumpy. I'm not about in front. <laughs> but I left or right? Who now? Mm-mm. Tando. Mm. See, they're like brothers. They're like brothers ah, to me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Why are you gonna laugh? Why, why what's like funny? What's funny about Tato's body? <laughs> no, I know nothing. But I'm just like zom shlega. You know shlega. Dig shlega. Hey. Oh, fat check are you? We've got Neo and Simpiwe next to you. Yo. Ah, this one, this one, you are. This one, you are. This one is you are. Who, who, who fat check? <laughs> But I wasn't playing this whole time. I ah, know this one we have to. It bonus. It bonus. Bonus round. Neo or Simpiwe? Yo, bottom. Simpiwe? No, I'm Ooh. looking at you. I don't know. Um. Yeah, Simpiwe. Yes, Simpiwe. <laughs> She's curious, man. Everyone is curious. Why is it okay? 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 Anyway, and you, anyway, what? You? Ah, uh, Sol, Sol, obvious. How? I've seen Sol before. Yeah. Uh. They're always on the road, man. Like, you know, like, like what I said, sometimes we're booked in these apartments with like different bedrooms. Remember our first booking in Cape Town? We went yeah, to share a bed. Yeah, fucking toilet. <laughs> Oh, there's a toilet, that place, man. Where there's two beds there, and it's like some shady ass guest house <laughs> with an old white couple. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Don't take me back. So, anyway. when I saw you, could have said then, Mac, because you've already seen him. But you saw him now, you're like, I. <laughs> <laughs> why can't, why can't you see me? If you put it like that, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> hey, Pedruka, anything else on your mind, my dog? Uh, Man, shout out to Lyle Foster, man. He's going through some stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. You saw that. He's going through mental illness. So thoughts to him. And he's, he's actually been doing so well for Burnley. You know, it's a f- football player, South African. Um, he's, he's got mental health issues and he's not, like, you know, playing for his team at the moment to to seek help with that. So shame, man. That made me really sad. Don't you think people are going to use that as an excuse now? Like, especially footballers. Like, whenever they're playing trash, they're like, ah, mental health. <laughs> It's a good excuse. <laughs> it's a good excuse. No, no, but we can tell. You know what I mean? Like, well, no, we can't tell. But I mean, with him, he's been playing really well. So it must be something serious. But yeah, man. I wonder what's going on, man. Eh? Mm. It, it, it's life, man. Life is tough, bro. Even for, for, for playing in England, best league. Ah, man, it's good. But they say Three. mental health, depression doesn't choose. Yeah, true. You know, yeah. Good will get you. Yeah, shame, man. So that's, yeah, that was on my mind. And also, bro, people are getting kidnapped. Just be careful out there, guys. Mm. The number of kidnaps, uh, they called bank app kidnaps, are on the rise where they are kidnapping people. And then just to wipe, wipe clean your account out yeah. uh, oh. via your bank apps and stuff. And it could happen to anyone. You after a gig. <laughs> nah, I'm safe, dog. There's no money in my account. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have banking apps, guys. So it's cool. You know, the one I have is a personal account. It doesn't have much. So yeah, mm. don't try. Mm. But yeah, that's been uh, apparently happening. Hmm? No, no, but the one I have, yeah, it's not my business account. Oh. You got a business account? Oh, no, but I'm not my email. No, wait, wait, yeah, business account and not app, meaning for the computer, you know. So yeah, I'm safe, but it's been happening a lot. So they will obviously. But don't you think so? Then they can end up having a computer. So okay, when they kidnap you, there's a computer. Open your app. I'll find a way, guys. I'm not money. Uh, there's a way. So I mean, they obviously your bank is gonna call. Like, hey, what's going on? You know, a mm. couple of. The kid, you know, like weird transactions are happening, and the bank calls you. Obviously, you're there. You're gonna have to say, "Yeah, it's me." Mm. Um, and yeah, people are getting wiped out like crazy, like hundreds and. The best thing to do if you if you have a business is you get uh, more than one person to um, approve the payments. Mm. Mm. So, so how does like, that work? So, like, let's say you got a business, right? Mm-hmm. And your business account. It needs me and you to approve for the yeah. amount to go out. So it would need you to approve via, you need to open your app on your end. So yes. when you approve the amount to go out, you approve, right? With with the robbers? Yes. I would need to approve as well. So how? Would you get a notification within your app? Yeah. You know, like when you make an online payment? You have to payment? contact the other person to also like they have, they have a system yeah. with these banks where you can do that. So no amount okay, can leave your account without two people authorizing. It, yeah. That is great. Yeah. 
That is dope, actually. Yeah. yeah. So that's a possible solution as yes, well. Yes, yes. Because then they would need the other person as well. I know yeah. they would have a token which you have to press and you get a code. So each, like both of you, let's say you have a business account together. So both of you have a small little, like a digital token kind of a thing mm -mm -mm. that you click. So they'll tell, obviously you communicate. I'm trying to release money. Mm. And then you get the code, you approve it. That's how the money is. Because it could happen to anyone. Anyone. I mean, yeah. imagine getting into an Uber, right? That, yeah, that, that Uber driver yeah. was robbed and he's stuck in the boot or he's stuck somewhere tied mm, up. Mm. That's not the actual Uber driver you're with. It's just uh, one of the, the kidnappers driving around with a, a hijacked car, essentially, and you get in and you're at the mercy of these guys. It can Where did you see the story? To anyone. Um, somewhere online, I think, like, on one of you, just go bank app kidnappings. Um, but it's a, it's, it's been on the rise. We spoke about it even. Bank. It's been on the rise. Bank app or kidnappings. Kidnappings. And is it... In, Bro, in please, motherfucker, South Africa. Yeah. These crimes that you used to see in the movies, like kidnapping... Pull, did you see the woman who got shot outside the court? Who was testifying Yay. against cops in Randburg Magistrate Court? She was testifying against cops. It's a man and, and a woman. Shot dead, yeah. shot dead outside the courthouse. Oh, this is why you know about it. <laughs> Crime analyst Dr. Chris DeCock joined 959 Breakfast <laughs> to share some insights. Yeah, but it's knowledge. It's still <laughs> yeah, some stuff yeah. we spoke. I even just said we spoke about it uh, on, on the breakfast show. Like, literally, it's going. It's, a, it's, a, it's happening. An increase of 50%. Fuck. Yeah, bro, it's happening, guys. And it can happen to anyone, literally anyone. So and is this though. in Joburg or like all over the country? I'm not sure. So a couple of things. I mean, you can obviously do like hide your apps. You know, there's uh, app hider apps, apps that hide other apps. So you could do that, hide your banking apps or just don't keep your business account app on your phone. Did you ask a question? Let's see if you asked. Did you ask a question? No, no, I didn't. You didn't ask no, just a specialist mm. talking to him. He was a crime the guy. Mm. Yeah. Are you allowed to ask questions with Caesar? Uh, yeah, I am. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You must join. You must join us one day. We'll ask you questions. Ay, come on now. What do you want to ask me, dog? Everything, man. Ah, come on. <laughs> do you guys still do celebrities? No, we don't do celebrities. Oh. We don't interview celebrities. Why? Because we don't care for celebrities. Oh. Mm. What do you guys do on that show, man? Like, what does your clock look like? Oh, okay. In the first things first, we speak about a news item that's been making the rounds. Like, for example, uh, the supposed EFF fake proof of payment, which have now been proven they were not fake. So someone, so EFF <laughs> lost a case, a civil case against EFRA Forum, and then EFRA, they had to pay EFRA Forum, right, for losing the case. And then they paid EFRA Forum 300000 and then EFRA Forum posted the proof of payment. Mm. Then Kai's toilet noticed that in the proof of payment, you know, normally uh, bank letters and proof of payments will, or any documents from a bank, at the bottom, the footer has yeah, 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 directors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He noticed that some of the directors are not longer on the board of directors of Standard Bank. Wow. And then he mentioned that, and obviously that would make it look like an outdated template, meaning someone faked the proof of payment. Yo. And it was making the news. So it obviously seemed like EFF was hiding where the money came from. Someone else paid because the money did reflect, but wow. clearly it wasn't from Standard Bank. Mm. But now Standard Bank have come out to say that, no, it was actually uh, 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 the legit proof of payment. Clearly, someone at Standard Bank has been sleeping on the job. Mm -hmm. So we speak about such things in the morning, mm. and then we're going to have clued up where we'll play maybe a line from a movie line and people need to guess what it is. Or sometimes we'll play ambient sounds. And then um, at 7 o'clock, we're going <laughs> to tackle a big story like that. And then we're going to have a subject matter anal uh, uh, um, specialist oh. to break it down. What is it about? So Palestine, uh, Israel, or Pakistan, according to Kelly Oh, Kumalo. Kelly Kumalo, yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah, Pakistan. Yeah. So then they'll t give us a breakdown of what's that about, etc. You know, mm. so that's like 7 o'clock o'clock, eight o'clock hour, and then we speak to Google Atom Food to give us business news. And then after eight, we do sing it back, which is like a, what was Usher doing at seven o'clock? Mm. It's like a quiz of music and people take on one another. It's one of the popular things on the show. And then um, we've got Throw Forward with Prati for Best Team in mm, the City. Mm. And then we go home, bro, at nine o'clock. Well, we have a meeting and then afterwards we go home, bro. When do you laugh, dog? Sounds so serious, man. Psh. 
Tune in, bro. We've got the best breakfast show in the country. For like, real? Tune in. Yeah. I we this. laugh a lot in between. There's, we laugh. Like, we make jokes. I make jokes. Caesar makes jokes. You know, it sounds it serious, eh? Mm, it but sounds, but we laugh. Like, we, we, have a, we have a kick-ass breakfast show. I don't want to lie. We've got the best breakfast show in the mm-hmm. country. Why Anyone you, can come tell you. You guys do pranks. Nah, come on. It's old school, man. It's old school, man. Come on now. Now nah, others will do pranks. We don't do pranks. Mm. What is this? 1995. <laughs> <laughs> pranks. No, we don't do pranks. But we've got a shit hot breakfast show. Yeah. I don't want to lie, bro. We're killing shit right now. Mm. Yeah. Okay, no, I'll listen. I'll listen. Did you guys check my music video out? What I do you did. think? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Really I, did. Nice I saw you acting. Hey. Hey, my acting was, was not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. Hi, you acted. Hey. You acted. And the turnaround was quick, man, because we shot it like. Yeah, last we shot week. it. Yeah, yeah, we shot last week, Thursday. Yeah. You know, Monday is very good. Yeah, shout out to Monday Dube, man. Yeah, it's shout amazing. out to Monday Dube. Lonely Nuts is out, music videos out. And I saw I made it because, like, my partner was literally. You were acting end. too. <laughs> I know. You, you, you know, like Meg. surprised. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but literally, that was the last shot they, they shot mm, 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 that mm. night at like 11. Yeah, you were spending time with family though. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. But Chant, night. Thanks yeah. for coming through, man. Nah, anytime, man. Yeah. All right, before we you go, know. got some announcements to make. Yes. Uh, Acro Branch. Remember Acro Branch where we did our team building thing? Yay. Acro? Acro Branch. Acro Branch. Oh. By Melrose. Yes. Where we did our team building. Yes. Yep. Yes. They're giving away double tickets to two lucky winners who follow their social media pages. Oh. Uh, Acro Branch is a tree top experience dedicated to offering children and adults alike a unique adventure in which features obstacle courses, tunnels, bridges, zip lines, and much more. It was fun, man. We had so much Remember, fun. Remember, yeah. 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 Follow yeah, them yeah. on their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or not, TikTok. That's fun. <laughs> Winners <laughs> will be contacted via DM. And also, remember I said Chillers must send me songs for uh, songs I put my name on volume two? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I've received over 200 songs, which I'm still listening to. Now. Oh, nice. Yeah. We were listening to some of them with Ghost yeah. Lady on the other year. So some so of them nice. are fire, bro. Yeah. Of course. South Africa's yeah. got talent, bro. Hey, these kids are cooking. Hey, yeah. Hey. Crazy talent. But yeah, that's all I got. You, Ghost Lady? Um, Anything else? No, no, no. no I'm good. good. But what do you guys make of uh, Somisa's ex? Did you see? <laughs> she, so, I didn't even know who is Sangoma. Yeah. The baby, Somisa's baby, da- uh, baby, baby mama. Baby mama, yeah. Yeah, she renounced Sangoma in the name of Jesus. And then she went on Instagram and burnt that um, that cloth. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. yeah, I found it so strange. Why couldn't she do that in private? Exactly. You know what I mean? Because, number one, why is she doing it? Maybe she was not, didn't have a calling to begin with in the first place. Mm-hmm. Now there's people out there who buy Zangoma. It works for them. It works for them. It's they, they genuine, they legit. It works for them. So why do you need to go on Instagram and burn? It's like me burning a cross in the name of something else, right? Yeah. What about everybody else who believes the in the cross? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the name of Allah, I burn a cross. You know what I mean? That's so weird, man. Like, dude, if you made a decision to heed a calling and it turns out it wasn't it, yeah. It, it's on you. It's really a private matter. I just found that so strange. But do what you know, do you make of that? Yeah, no, that a, lot of, a lot of people were saying that she got influenced by um after the interview, yeah, uh, Coco's costing. Hey, that so, to be still trending. I can't yeah, believe that. Yeah, I can't believe that. Because Cotton did say, but I want to Exactly. I can't believe that. So she felt guilty? Yeah. yeah so, maybe, maybe. But the we don't thing know. is, maybe it also helped. As much as, yes, she could have done it in private, but her now coming out and saying, maybe she's one of those, you know, and yes. this was like, you know what? I'm not really, probably, I'm, I'm not called for this thing. And therefore, maybe it was good to do it publicly as someone who is known so that it may influence others who are able to also say, I, okay, you know what? But don't make it look like it's evil or it's the, it's the enemy of Christianity by, you know, saying you're burning it in Christ's name. You know what I mean? Mm. Burn it in any other name because now you're making it look evil and you're making people because now there's going to be someone who sees umundo or saying, Sata, and in the name of Jesus, I say, you know what I mean? That's so they also believe in God, you know? And a lot of people Christian. believe in they God. Are Christian also. Yeah. yeah, that's so, 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 so irresponsible. People are loving that episode, right? Eh? No, that episode was wild, man. Yeah. I remember when we were recording it, <clears throat> there was a point where we needed to take a, a pee break. So I get we recorded Rosebank more. So 
we took a break and then I went to the toilet. When I came back, I got lost because I was thinking, I was just like, yeah. like fucking hell, this episode is insane. Mm. I got lost going back to the wow. school. <laughs> like my body was there, but my mind was like, it was gone, gone. Yo, question, it was right? crazy, question. man. Mm. Question. I was trying to pro- it was a lot to process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. true. People love Angus Gibson interview, by the oh, way. Oh, for real? I yeah. love it too. Did it land? I'd land Now, question. Oh, now, my question man. is, what if it peaks at like 400,000 views? Would you deem that a failure? Because it's such a rich interview with so much knowledge yeah. and, and so much... It's brilliant, oh, right? Would that be a failure of an interview? Because I got a lot of inboxes. People weren't happy with us not wanting to do celebrities because of some of the low numbers. Yeah. Ah. You know, because people take legit stuff from these interviews. Mm. Okay. You know? So it may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's still like a world-class quality interview. To those that, that 100,000. Mm. That yes. Wise. And also a lot of people are like, those are the, like, Actual chillers Real will return. Chillers. Oh, some yes. people come because it's their favorite personality. Yes. They're not necessarily okay. chillers and they watch. And some will come because the people are sharing the episode and Abanya is like, oh, I'm interested in this subject. Oh, I get you. Yeah. So I, get I think you. we must rethink that idea of not doing celebrities as much. Some oh, yeah. People really do enjoy the interviews, man. I get what you mean. Yeah. 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 So oh, we mustn't go yeah. by the numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. mustn't go by the numbers. We'll go by the content. And also, we can feel like, no, this content is dope. Yeah. Because yeah. with Angus Gibson, yeah. I was worried it wouldn't land, eh? But I was like, fuck, I loved it, man. No, nah, after, I'm just dog, yeah. after, after we did it, I was like, whoa, what a dope yeah. episode. So, How about now we just judge it from, if we love it, then, you know... But that's that's how we've been doing. The chillers love whatever, like what we love, right? The numbers aren't a true reflection, essentially, of the quality of the episode. I see. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You're smart, dog, eh? Mm. Not the chillers, not me. (laughs) I won't take the credit, man. (laughs) No, son is smart. I'm going to take the food. Oh, Let me take from the new one. I think I remember a fresh that one. Makes sense, man. Yeah, take from the yeah. Take take from the take from the new. Because if I'm a fan of Da Capo, yeah, and we do an episode of Da Capo, but it gets fifty thousand views, yeah. But me watching, like, you are happy. I'm happy. I'm fulfilled because yeah. I'm a fan. Yes. Oh, I get it. And sometimes oh, because of man. your love, it's it will just automatically. I I will stay tuned. I'll watch because of okay. Let me just get what. Why he blesses you, or he makes you feel so good, or yeah. And also, so we're documenting essay history, not numbers. Yes, yes. we're not documenting numbers. Exactly. Boys. There we go. Oh. Hey man, there's what's this one guy? He put it so beautifully, man. Mm. And I was like, yo, bro, fuck. Okay. You actually make so okay. much sense. Yeah. But you just said it, bro. We're documenting. Not, uh, the, <laughs> I almost said numbers. Yeah, it's not about numbers. We're documenting history, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. So let's continue doing that, man. Um, the numbers. Numbers, we will see. Oh man, can we chat on WhatsApp? No. I'm from the radio background. It's about ratings, Chief. Oh. Ratings. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I didn't think I was going to need that thing, so I can't find it now, but the guy said it's No, so please find it. I want to hear it. He was so hear, man. He was like, yo man, I'm really, really not happy yeah. with uh, your guys' the stance. Conversation. On- no, no, no. It was, yeah. just, it was just a thought, guys. It's not like... And plus, it was a family meeting, which yeah, we brought was a to meeting. everyone, yeah, yeah. you know? So, and... The chillers are family, so their opinion also matters. Of course. Like, so it's not like cast and stone exactly that we're stopping. Exactly, matters the most, yeah. It's not like we're stopping interviews. No, 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 no. no yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. We just wanted to find out if, you know, maybe. What's dropping this Thursday? Uh, Shibi Sheet! Yay! Yay! Oh, oh Shibi Sheet! Yay! Twicker, twicker, twicker. He sold in a single word that nigga was saying. No, no, no. There's a point of laughing. So I'm sitting here, right? Chevy shit is here, and so he's here. So he's in the corner of my eye, right? Yeah. But the whole time, bro, he can't keep still. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> like he's falling asleep, uh, you could see Hashem. So I had a hard literally, time. Literally, yeah. literally, there wasn't like ten seconds he couldn't keep still. Yeah, I couldn't stop laughing. No, <laughs> I, I understood him. Like... <laughs> I'll see what I can say. <laughs> you so, know, like when Robert Boy was impersonating you. Yeah. Yeah. Those you, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was glitching. Yo, <laughs> 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 no, guys, I can't. Man, Instagram was the dumbest search inbox because it's not searching the, the text, it's searching people. So I can't even search interview and actually find a thing. And you know how inboxes on Instagram get so filled with nonsense and being tagged and all being mentioned and all these things. So I can't find it. Okay, fine. It'll tell it to us next next episode. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was so beautiful, man. I, and I, I felt that guys... 
pain and hurt. Yeah. You know, you were like, please don't stop the interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody ready for the year and function? Eh? Yeah? This yeah, week, you yeah. ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to do it. 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 So, I'm going to do it. 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 Dude, do you just bought a car? Black Studio, you've got a car? Kuluma, nine mic. Kuluma, nine yeah. mic. Yeah. The equipment. Come on, nine, Mike. Come on. I've got space in my car. You can come in my car. Ah, and you fully pass. Ah, these ones are spoiled now. Ah, <laughs> support your dad's business, man, for, for the second time. <laughs> support your dad's business. Miss Paul, you fully pass. Please, man, forget the pressure. But fully, if you have fun. But fully, if you but then, if you are number five, but for the piano. So, so why didn't anyone respond in the group when they said you must? Buy us up, buy us up. I'm number four. Buy us up, buy us up. But it's two hours away, man. It's far, bro. So that's why I'm a car. Ah, you can't win with black people, eh? Hey. Ah, you can't win. <laughs> anyway, we are here, man. Podcast and chill. Boom. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo even when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.